guys, it's Kate and today I've got a huge thrift haul for you from two Salvo stores, that's for two Salvo stores and Glebe Markets on Saturday. Um, so we should start before this goes for 30 minutes. So first thing I got, I'll go through the Salvo stuff first because that has the most. Um, I got this nice kind of peasanty top which can be worn off the shoulders and it's kind of basically the same thing as I've got on now but this is kind of more cropped and this is just longer and this was from Valley Girl originally Ooh. and it was it ended up being two dollars I want to say because it was half price at Salvo's yes bitch. and then I got this linen top from Colorado is just a button up one and I got this because I have a pair of linen, linen pants and I want to kind of have like a matching set which sounds kind of weird but it looks really cool it's just plain white kind of crop there it's a size small and that was four dollars a few miscellaneous things I got is one is Arlie's doilies I got them because I want to make um, dream catches with them because I wanted to buy some that had basically lace inserts and then had um, sticks around the outside and feathers coming off it. So I want to do that so I bought these instead of paying $50 for them and those were about 50 cents each I believe. Also I got two bags from the Salvos. One is a little faux leather um, backpack which I thought was really cute and would be cute for like um, going to festivals and such because it's small but it holds like a bottle of water, your phone, a camera and it just clips together with a little clip clasp and a drawstring and then I found this beauty now this is just a briefcasey thing Brief, briefcasey thing? no, it's just a briefcase or a satchel? I don't know and it's brown calfskin and it's got two kind of latches there to open it and the best thing about it, it's Oriton and it was 10 bucks like what are you doing sellers? so I don't know who would have given this away and not sold it but yeah so that's vintage Oriton which I thought was really cute um, I think I might use it when I go to uni next year but then if I don't end up using it I'll probably sell it online but yeah that was 10 dollars Next things I got are there's this dress which is really cute. It's got kind of like a patchworky pattern on it with flowers and just really muted like blues and pinks and browns and stuff. And then it has rope for the um, straps and it's just a racer back, very short. And this was originally from the brand Lily White. And this ended up being $2.50. I think my voice is going a bit funny. Sorry. I got this brown skirt, which is very nice. It's from Portman's and it's basically brand new condition, I think. I think it's quite vintage looking, like maybe some 70s coming from that. It's got two front pockets there. Kind of looks like a pair of shorts. But you know, it's not. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's got a zip at the back. Sorry, my boyfriend just walked in. It's got a zip at the back. And it's very really nice. That ended up being $2.52. I got this cropped yellow ribbed top from Tian Hao. It's um, a label, is like the wash care label is in Chinese, I think. I think it's Chinese, but. So that's pretty cool that it was made brought over here which now that I think about it is most things but oh well moving on so it's just this nice lemon yellow color and I think you could wear it off the shoulders too if you wanted which is really cute since I think ribbed like crop tops are actually quite in at the moment this is the second one I bought in the last like two weeks oops I got this lovely cobalt blue off the shoulder dress well, I think it's meant to be a shirt, but it's a size 14, so I'm going to wear it to dress. 
And the thing that won me on this are the sleeves. Like how amazing are they? Am I right? Yes, I am, obviously. Um, this is from the brand Billions and Trillions. And it's just really light. It's a nice um, bikini cover-up, I think. So yes, I'm very excited to wear that. This was $2.50 as well. I got this wool blend jumper. So it's just grey with a navy blue and then black stripes across the middle. It's got this little um, leather patch there. And it's from the brand Boom Doggers Surf Materials. So it's a size medium. I just thought it would be really nice and warm. And kind of cute just to wear with leggings on a day. Like a casual day at home during winter. This is one of my favourite finds. It's this mink pink t-shirt dress. Now I got it for $2.50 and it kind of has this aztec -y print in browns and oranges on it. And then it also has a cutout in the back which is lovely. I thought. But yeah. Very nice. Very nice. My size. Size small. And $2.50. Can't complain. This I kind of just bought without really thinking about it because um, I wanted a maxi skirt and this kind of reminded me of a Tiger Lily-esque print. I love Tiger Lily, it's one of my favourite brands but it's so uber expensive so I thought that kind of reminded me of it and it's kind of that, oh, I don't know what to call it, but it's not like a straight up and down dress, it has a little extra bit of material that kind of puffs out a bit more. Reminds me of maybe a Spanish style but I thought it was really cute and I think it would be really cute with like just a white crop top or something. Or a crochet. Very nice. Uh, I got this long midi tartan skirt which kind of looks like a school uniform. That's alright. It's from the brand Gore and it's just pure wool. And so it'll be good for winter, keeping you warm. So that's nice. I got this um, cute crochet vest, which I think might have been handmade, which just ties at the front. And it's a nice cream colour, but then I also thought it could be worn as a top, like backwards and just tied up at the back, so then it's a low kind of cut out back, which would be very nice and cooling in summer. So yeah, I thought that was cute, quite 70s looking, I'm thinking. I got this... Um, cropped wool jumper which is probably not meant to be cropped or probably just shrunk in the wash but it fits like a size 810 really well as a cute cropped jumper and the sleeves are like regular length so that's good um <laughs> I put it in the wash and mum was like Kaylin I think I shrunk your jumper I am so sorry and I was like man it's all good all jima but yeah that's really cool, it's got a um, kind of zigzaggy polka dot swirl pattern on it and it's, I believe, no it's black and kind of a taupey colour, so that's really cute. Well, I was watching Beck Eldrup here on the YouTube and she got a pair of men's matching pyjamas and made them into a two set, so I did the same thing and I love the idea, it's so good. So. I'll insert a picture of what the um, pajamas looked like before. Then I made them into these little shorts. With then I made I had enough material to make two tops, so I made a little tiny um, boob tubey top like that. And then I also made one that looked like this. This one's a bit messy, and I still kind of have to work on it, but it works. It does its job but I like little boob tubey one better. But that's what that looks like and what I did is this is the front of the pyjamas that I just cut the collar off and stuff and replaced the button with this little wooden flower button. And then this was originally the back of the original pyjama set. So yeah, I think that's really cute because I've always wanted a two piece set but they end up being like 70, 80 bucks, all the nice ones. For Simon, who's my boyfriend, she's sitting over there. I got him a pair of vintage Levi jeans, but then I cut them into shorts because they're all kind of like a bootleg cut and we're not into that. This is this is genuinely vintage because they still have the leather patch at the back. 
And yes, so they're very nice. They're very soft. And I'm actually very good fun. He's very happy with me. Oh, Levi jeans were $3, I want to say. I got Simon actually a few kind of out there shirts that not many people have, but I thought they were pretty cool. So I got him this one, which is just a light, really light fabric with some Aztec kind of printing there, but it's a different material that's been sewed onto it. Like this is more, I don't know how to describe that. That's been like embroidered and this is just kind of rayony fabric. And I just thought it was cool. It ties up as the, at the front. I don't know where it's from. But it says it's at size 42, which is kind of weird, I thought. That's alright. And it's just got a pocket at the front. And yeah, I just thought it was unusual. It's different. It was two dollars. Why not? And the other one is actually one of my favourite things that I've ever worn here before. And it's just this Aztec kind of three-quarter sleeve v-neck top. And it's just very nice. It's very soft. I don't really see that many people wearing it. It'd be good, um to wear to like Groove in the Moo festival and stuff so that's what we got that for. This was also two bucks. Again for the boy, the boo, while oh, he amuses him to music, quite funny. Um, I, we found this super dry shirt which is pretty cool because super dry is quite expensive isn't it? I think it might be but anyway it's really soft light blue, it's a really soft light blue, it's really soft fabric and it's blue and light blue. And just says real super dry trademark Japan. So that was pretty cool for three dollars, not too shabby, not too shabby. Also found him this button up Colorado shirt, which is just kind of a nice dress shirt to wear like out to birthdays or to dinners or something. Because you know, we're all into that patent um, button up, aren't we still? Is that still a thing? I think it is. So that was originally from Colorado, you saw this tag on it, good. And that it was $5. Oh, this is one of the greatest things ever as well. This is for him again. It was originally $30 and I was like, whoa! And we're like, well, but then it was half price, so it was $15. But what it is is this massive um, Quatma jacket, which is made from 75% sheep's wool. And the sleeves and trimming for like the pockets and the inside pockets and stuff is lambskin which was an uber good buy because it's just neutral so it goes with anything and it doesn't really look like you would ever go out of style since it's just a massive bomber. And yes that would be fabulous for the winter time. Now I got a few stuff from Glebe so I'll show you that. Um, start off with this shirt which says live to ride, ride to live with an eagle on a motorcycle. It just reminded me of like a Harley Davidson shirt and I really want a Harley Davidson shirt but I don't want to spend that much money on them online so yeah that's really cool and it has the same thing on the back but in black and white. And I love things with like the front and back like uh, graphics. Very cool. Oh this ended up being $10. This jacket was also $10 and I thought that was amazing. This is genuine leather. It's just this black suede jacket. Can you see that? With like a silky satin lining. It's got a hood, which I'm not the biggest fan of, so I might take that off, but I'm not sure. And then it's got fringing all around it. Check it out. I love fringe. I love fringe. I love anything western looking. I don't know, it's just, it makes me so happy. I cannot wait for winter or for it to cool down so I can wear this. It is just one of the coolest things I've ever bought. And it was $10. Yes! Another thing that I got from $10 was this vintage um, Lee denim, um, Lee denim, denim vest, if that makes sense. It's very distressed, it's acid washy, and I just think that is super duper cool what's to complain about, am I right? I also got this Iron Maiden band tee, like Jewel t-shirt from 2008, which is really cool. Uh, I can't remember what tour it was. 
somewhere back in time, World Tour 2008, that's what I thought. Cool, so it has kind of the um, Egyptian mummy print on the front, and it's just really cool because it looks like really old. I know it's only like five, six, seven, seven years old, but it's just really warm, so it's really soft, and I like that a lot. I've already worn it quite a few times. I got a $5 pair of American Apparel um, Easy Jeans, which is pretty cool. They are a size medium, so they are like slightly bigger on me than I'd like. So I'm not sure if I will keep them or if I will sell them again on eBay. But they are really comfy and they are really pretty. But the one bad thing is, I didn't see this when I bought them. They've got kind of like a bleach stain there. I don't know if you can see that. So. I'm not sure. You can't really notice it, but then I'm really kind of picky and OCD about those things, but what can you do? I think this is the last thing, but it's my all-time favourite purchase. So anyone who knows me knows I'm obsessed with Disney and obsessed with like vintage and vintage shopping and thrift shopping and blah 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 blah. So when I found this and the lady, like the girl told me how much it was I almost probably died so what it is is this um, vintage Disney bomber jacket like denim and it's got Mickey on the front it says Mickey Mouse true blue classic and it has the 1928 drawing of Mickey it says no fallen and then it's got um, kind of light khaki sleeves with a little kind of badge What's that called? Whatever. Embroidered on it and it says Mickey True Blue on it again and then on the back it's embroidered as well with just a bigger Mickey and basically says Mickey True Blue again. Um, always a reliable mouse. Count on it. And I just thought that was the coolest thing ever. The tag it says it's from the Disney store which is super exciting. And it just fits how you'd want a bomber jacket to fit. So I feel like it was just there waiting for me. I'm so we almost didn't go to that section of flea market, so I'm so excited that we did. And it was a ten dollars. Are you kidding? Like I almost felt bad for buying this because I thought I was like robbing the girl and I was like, I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna argue with this. No, I'm so excited for it to get cold. I'm going to Disneyland at the end of the year. We're going on like an American Christmas trip. Me and my family for like the last um, family holiday we'll go on together since I'm finishing school this year. So I'm so excited to take this and wear to Disneyland. Yay. Okay. Yeah, that's everything I got. I hope you enjoyed. I'm sorry if this was very long. I don't know how good my editing skills are. I probably rambled a lot or just said useless things a lot of the time but that's just everything and I hope you liked it. Um, I'd like you to subscribe, like, comment what type of things you'd want to see. I have a few DIYs coming up so that's good. Um, and yeah, so I hope to see you guys soon. Bye!